everybody, I'm Princess Jasmine. I'm saying hi to you from all the way to Agrabah. I wanted to read two stories for you today. And joining us will be little me over here and my pet tiger. Do you remember his name? His name is Raja, you're right. All right, so our first story is going to be called there's a locket in my pocket. It's about all the kinds of little creatures that are hiding in your house. And if you're lucky, you might be able to find them. All right, there is a locket in my pocket by Dr. Seuss. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket. Or a neuro in your bureau. Oh, he's popping up over here. Or a was it in your closet? Oh my goodness, that is a very tall was it. And that zelf up on that shelf. I have talked to him myself. He's all the way up there. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp. And I think they're rather nice. These creatures are nice to him. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot. But that yodel in the bottle, some are friendly, some are not. I like the zabel on the table. Wow, they're sharing sausages. That's so cool. And the chair, the gear under the chair. He's just hanging out there under the chair. But that bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. Doesn't want to share. There are nubbards in the cupboards. They're good fun to have about. But that toothbrush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that vug under the rug. And that Quimmy up the chimney? I don't like him. Not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zoll scoots down the hall. Oh, he's very fast. And the Yeps on the steps? They're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. All of them are playing down in the cellar. And the geeling on the ceiling, he's upside down. Oh my goodness. And the zower in my shower. The big sour and the Zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it. That's the kind of house I live in, and I hope we never have to leave it. The end. That was There's a Walket in My Pocket by Dr. Seuss. Our next story is about this particular fruit. Do you know what this is? It's crunchy, it's red, it's very yummy. This is an apple. And our story is called 10 apples up on top. So there's 10 of these in this book. Let's see. This is by Theodore Lassig. This is so cool. One apple up on top. 
top of the head, right? Two apples up on top. That's two apples. Look you, I can do it too. So that's two apples up here. Look, see, I can do three. Well, let's see if we have three apples. We have one, two, and three apples. Three, three, I see. I see. You can do three, but I can do three. You have three, but I have four. So we had three apples. That was one, two, three, and four. Four apples up on top. That's a lot of apples. Look here, you two. See here, you two. I can get five on top. Can you? Well, we have four apples here, right? That's one, two, three, four. Can we get a fifth one? Yes, we do. Five. We have five apples. I am so good, I will not stop. Five. Now six. Now seven on top. That's a lot of apples on top of his head. Seven apples up on top. I am so good, they will not drop. Five, six, seven, fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven, two. That's seven apples all up on their heads. Isn't that heavy? And now, see here, eight. Eight on top. Eight apples up. Not one will drop. Oh, well, let's see if these apples stay on top. Eight, eight, and we can skate. Look now, we can skate with eight. But I can do nine. And hop and drink. I cannot do this. I think, oh, it's a little dangerous. But let's see what they do. We can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are as good as you. We are all very good, I think. With nine, we can all hop and think. Nine is very good. But then, come on, and we will make it ten. Ten apples? It's a little silly, and that's a lot of apples. Look, ten apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. Hmm, we'll see. Look out, look out, I see a mop. Uh-oh, somebody's coming with a mop. I will make the apples fall. Oh no. Get out, get out you, one and all. Come on, come on. Come down this hole. We must not let our apples fall. Let's see. All of them have 10 apples on their heads and they're running. Out of our way. We cannot stop. We cannot let our apples drop. Oh, they have to be careful while moving fast. This is not good. What will we do? 
They want to get our apples too. Oh no, the birds are trying to find the apples and get them. Uh-oh. They will get them if we let them. Come, we cannot let them get them. cannot stop our apple fun. Our apples will not stop not one. Not one. Come on, come on. Come one, come all. We have to make the apples fall. They must not let our apples down. Come on, come on. Get out of town. Apples, apples up on top. All of this must stop. Stop. Now all our fun is going to stop. Our apples all are going to drop. Oh no. The apples. <gasps> they all crashed into the apple cart. What's going to happen? Look, 10 apples on us all. What fun. We will not let them fall. The end. And that was 10 apples up on top by Theo Lissy. Thank you so much for joining me on this story time. Raja would like to say goodbye and have a safe and wonderful day. Take care of each other.